Mexico City. We got in earlier this morning and came straight to the hotel slash Airbnb. Like I booked it on Airbnb, but it looks more like a hotel. We are basically here to do like a food tour because I've seen so many videos about how amazing the food is here. And then when I was doing more research, I realized how beautiful it is here. So I'm really excited to explore all the other things, but we do have a lot of reservations already booked because it seems like you have to do that here in Mexico City. I just got ready in the bathroom. Ryan is going to change because I think there are some dress codes in some restaurants. So the first one we're going to, I believe it's Smart Casual. It's currently 1222 and our room is only ready at three. So that's why we're kind of getting ready on the terrace. But let me show you guys this place because it is honestly so gorgeous. We're on the third floor at the terrace and there's just so many cute little sitting spots out here. There's a whole little kitchenette back there. Back in here are the bathrooms and I just love like the texture on the walls and like all the fixtures that they chose. And the bathroom is very nice. So I'm excited to see your room. Here's today's outfit. I don't love it. It's definitely my least favorite of the trip, but it's okay. We're gonna roll with it. I woke up really early and just picked this outfit out. Always my sneakers on because I feel like we're gonna do a lot of walking. Okay, I'm gonna get some coffee. There's a matcha place next door. So maybe that personality. We'll see. Looks so cute. This place was just right outside of our Airbnb. Our Airbnb is right across from Parque Mexico, so we're gonna walk around here and then we'll probably head over to our reservation. I could probably spend like two hours here just watching all these cute little doggies, and I saw one like little one just hop up and like scratch the legs and that's what Sophie does and like it's too soon to be missing Sophie. <laughs> I like dog watching when people watch you I think. <laughs> not so cute and happy. I know. What is this? It looks so grand. Honestly not sure what this is but look at all these flowers. This is what I want my backyard to be. Like just filled with like really colorful flowers. No wonder why I like them so much. I think that these are Bougainvillea. I looked at a map and we're still in Parque Mexico. It looks to be huge. And we actually ended at the perfect timing because it was time to check into our Airbnb hotel situation. I never know which one to call it, but basically I booked it on Airbnb, like I said, but I think it's more of like a hotel, which I honestly appreciate because we were able to store our luggage here while the room wasn't ready and we could just walk around without having our luggage on us. Let me give you guys a tour. It's a pretty good size for just two people. There's a little kitchenette kind of thing right here with the table. The design of this bedroom is just so gorgeous. And then we have this little outdoor area. Let's see how we do this. How do we get out there? We have a little outdoor patio with the table on it. And look how cute it is. It's a lot later now and today's pretty much just gonna be food in Mexico City because we desperately needed to nap and I had to finish up a couple work things. So we got all of that taken care of and now we're on to our next restaurant, Entremar, which is the sister restaurant to Contramar. And unfortunately we couldn't get into there, but I think they sell the same exact thing and I'm really just wanting to try the tuna tostada because everyone says it's so good. One thing to note, the traffic seems pretty bad. Like the streets are very small and there's just like a lot of cars. I think this place is around three miles away, but it's gonna take 20 minutes to get there. So we're gonna head out early.
Good morning, y'all. It is day two in Mexico City, and we are starting off the morning by doing a photo shoot. I have never really like hired another photographer, especially on vacation. My friend Sam started doing this, and it got me inspired to do it myself because I feel like me and Ryan only have like iPhone pictures. Even though I have a nice camera, I could always ask my friends to like take a photo of us with our nice camera, but. I feel like getting pictures from an actual photographer that can give us like creative direction will be so helpful. As a photographer myself, I feel like I'm mostly behind the lens, so it'll be really exciting to like see how she does things. And we're gonna take pictures probably in Condesa and maybe Roma Norte. I think we have her for an hour and a half. So we're gonna do one like nicer outfit and then one more casual outfit. I always love when my photo clients over blush because you can really see it on camera. I feel like you kind of underestimate how much your makeup gets washed out when you're being photographed. I've helped a couple of my friends, boyfriends, I guess now fiancés, find photographers in other cities. And I always just tell them and recommend them to look up like hashtag Mexico City Photographer or hashtag CDMX Photographer. And that should pull up a good amount of options. And then from there, you can just go ahead and message them and say exactly what you're looking for and your ideal date for the photo shoot is. Some people will have you go through their websites, but I feel like that's mainly just wedding photographers. It's getting so hot in this bathroom. I am stupid and I didn't realize that I don't think this place has AC, at least like one that you can control. So thank God it's cold at night because we just like left the door open and we were totally fine sleeping. But Ryan just showered, so it's pretty hot in this small space. I'm actually really happy with my makeup today. Very glad it turned out well for this day especially. And this is the outfit. It's not even a set, it's like two different things, but I think they look pretty similar. So I just kind of like matched it together. And Ryan's in a linen shirt and some khakis. It looks so cute. I know it's gonna feel really nice though. It's pretty chilly this morning, so. Thank God. Hopefully we won't have to sweat. Our photographer told us to meet at this fountain that we came to yesterday with all the big ideas. So we're really excited because we are hoping to get some pictures near them. Um, but she said she's seven minutes away. There's so much traffic here like at all times. But I also need to do a little zhuzhing to my curls and brush them out. So it's time. Our photographer got here. You want to do a little intro for yourself? Yes, I'm a um, photographer based in Mexico City. I've been a photographer for like 17 years. I really like it. I mean, like cinematic style. I like film. I like vintage colors. So I'm very excited to take photos. I'm excited. Let's yeah. start. <laughs> All right, first location. Whoa. Running across the, the street. Perfect. I like the building. Okay, let's do it. We got changed into our second outfit. We just got done with the photo shoot and she was really great at giving us direction. I highly recommend I'll put her Instagram in the description box. But now we are going to get something to eat. <laughs> Ooh, where's, the, where's the guayaba? Oh yeah, we'll do that one, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Maki and then immediately took a nap. I feel like my body is just craving more sleep these days. I don't know why and I feel very guilty especially when I'm on trips hanging out in the hotel room during the day like at all but honestly like I feel so refreshed and I feel like I'm ready to take on the rest of the day and the night. Right now we're about to call our Uber over to the castle. We're going to explore that a little bit. Ryan's request for today is to go to the, the Rolex store. In Polanco. I don't doubt they'll have any stock, but everywhere in the United States is like sold out, so we'll see. Yeah, so that is like a really bougie area of shopping. So it's like, I don't mind going there, even though like I don't really like buy super designer stuff, but I think it'll be fun and nice to walk around. We were kind of in that area last night, um, but we had to walk a little bit further and I think all the shops were closed by the time we were over there. So we wanna go back over there, shop around a little bit. Actually, I ended up canceling our one reservation for today which was gonna be at Taverna, but it was at like a really weird time at 4 p.m. and we wanna to go to the Luce Libre later tonight and I think that starts at 8.30 p.m. So we just decided we'll just try to get some street food or pop into a place like everywhere we have not had a reservation at. We were seated immediately, so 
it doesn't seem to be an issue. I mean, definitely at like the higher end, nicer restaurants. I don't even know if they do walk-ins like Pujol or Pujol or however you say it, but finding food later tonight should be an issue for us. So let's go check out the castle. So grand. I loved how there was like checkered tiles everywhere. And I was like, Brian, this is classic. And I, I just like did a DIY in our laundry room with checkered tiles. So it's timeless. It made me happy to see that. Honestly, the whole inside gave me like salt burn vibes. We did have to walk a long way. There wasn't any water to buy in here. And we had to like finish our water before coming in. So we're gonna go down back to like the entrance area because there's a bunch of like vendors that are selling food and water and Gatorade. So we are definitely going to get something because we are a little bit dehydrated. We're in Polanco trying to find a Rolex authorized dealer. <clears throat> Looks like this one may have closed. I don't know. So we're going to keep looking down here. There's a bunch of jewelry stores. Make sure I see one. So we're good. Oh, yeah. Ace in Cerros. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a attack, like the, uh, yeah. Ah, yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Those are really pretty. The lady was very helpful. Nothing that I wanted was in stock. Uh, they did have some tutors in stock that, eh, I just had to just buy the one I want instead. You know. Yeah. So no impulse. Today. Proud of you. Now we're gonna go on a search for some sneakers for me. I really want some gazelles or some vejas. So we're gonna see if they have it. Okay, we found Adidas manifesting some gazelles. Okay, we found them. Now let's see if they have them in different colors. Eight US. These are the ones we're going with. I found them in like a nude color and it has like this bouquet almost on the front. I was trying to look for a color, but I feel like this is just so me. All right, guys, it is taco time. Just got back from getting tacos and I hate to say it, because I really did not want it to be true, but honestly, I feel like I've had better pastor tacos in Austin, and I honestly really wanted it to be so good here. They were good, I'm not saying they were bad, but I'm glad we went and checked it out. My photographer even said it was gonna be good, and I even asked her for like more local recs, but she was like, yeah, that place is pretty good. Everything in me wants to stay in right now and just like get in bed and like watch TV, but we are not gonna do that because we are going to Luce Libre. It actually starts in like five minutes, the Uber to the taco place from like Polanco was very, very long. Like there was such bad traffic. So that kind of threw us off our schedule, but I think it should be fine. It'll probably have like intros. I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna change into sneakers though. My feet are not in great shape from the sandals I was wearing today. So we bought our tickets off Ticketmaster. They were right under $40. And I believe there are two arenas. We went to the Arena Mexico. Right when we walked in, an older man asked us what seat number we had and we just followed him straight to the seats. But immediately he asked for a tip. So just so you know, they want to in case you don't have cash just tell them that you can find your own seats but i really enjoyed this experience if you come to mexico city definitely put this on your itinerary ryan actually grew up with american wrestling so he was loving this i had no idea what was happening the whole time and i just thought it was so dramatic i was honestly just laughing the whole time just so you know this is like a fake fight so it's pretty much scripted and pre-planned of who is going to win we decided to leave a little bit early because i really wanted churros and i wanted to go before this place closed this place was actually really good it looked like a tourist trap kind of but 
I actually wanted to go here again. We just didn't have time to, but I would highly recommend. It is day three in Mexico City and we have a full day of stuff planned. First, we are headed to get some pastries at Odette, so let's go. We're walking to the park right next to our Airbnb and this is where all the dogs were that we saw the first day and it's a Saturday, so everyone's out and about. We just passed by the most beautiful plants that they were just selling in the streets, like bougainvillea, cactus. I was so curious to see how much the cactus was, but like the guy wasn't there but um there was like so many other flowers strawberries limes and i was like how does a girl get a plant <laughs> through customs back to america asking for a friend because i would literally buy all of them Raspberry Cougamon, I think that's how you pronounce it. They have it in the States and I honestly get it a lot at a coffee shop, but I've never seen it with a raspberry. The guy was in front of us and he stole the last one and I was about to be so heartbroken if they didn't have any more, but they did. They had a full fresh tray. Came outside of the city to go to the Saturday market. So we don't have much time because we actually have a reservation at the hotel close to here and it's supposed to be gorgeous. So we're gonna quickly walk around. I really wanna find something for our home, like something kitschy, home decor, maybe art, and definitely some rings because I've seen that they have gold rings here. didn't leave with art or anything for the home but maybe that's for the best because I don't know how we would have gotten it home. We're walking uphill so sorry if I'm out of breath. We are at a really high elevation which I didn't even realize until we got here so we both are having a little trouble breathing. My friend Taryn recommended this restaurant that's a 12 minute walk from the markets so we made a very last minute reservation. That is where we're walking right now. Little midday pick me up. The place is massive and it reminds me of Beverly Hills Hotel. There's like greenery everywhere. Literally like so pretty. Yeah, and there's so many tables. Yeah, the flowers and the greenery. Oh my god, like it's insane here. Midday pick me up. <laughs> I ordered a mojito, so let's give it a try. Cheers. That's pretty strong. Try it. Okay, look at this beef tartare. They just mixed it table side. Guys, look at this lemon tree. How many lemons? there are on it. That is my dream. We do have a lemon tree in the backyard that we planted, so we're hoping that it is this fruitful one day. And hopefully that one day is soon. Wow. Wait, these don't even look like lemons anymore. They are huge. What? Are we sure they're lemons? Yeah. They're huge though. Perfect. Holy crap. done eating at San and Hell Inn and I highly recommend you go. Food was like okay, not like the best, but the vibes were amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous and 
if you're gonna go to the flea market there, definitely make a reservation there. Um, but now we are in Koya Khan, and our photographer actually recommended us come here because she lives here, and it's so cute, so colorful, and honestly, like more poppin' than where we're staying, which is La Condesa. We we're on the hunt for some stuffed churros. She told us that there was stuffed churros with like caramel chocolate, cream cheese, at first she said queso, Philadelphia and I was like what what are you saying queso Philadelphia and I was and then I clicked and I was like you mean cream cheese and she was like yeah yeah and I was like oh for some reason I didn't think that queso I don't know now I'm like feeling stupid about it but we are on a mission to find those and I also want mango like cut up mango maybe with some tahini on it and there seems to be a lot of food vendors all these colorful bracelets I kind of want to make a stack they're only 10 pesos and I have pesos because I got so much change we found them and I got mine with caramel Ryan got his the cream cheese I think it's like a little bit too much honestly. I feel like if we got another one I would get it plain, but it's real, it is pretty good. You just said coffee? What? You just said coffee again? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Last night's churro, the caramel we dipped in that kind of had like a hint of coffee taste, but this one's like normal caramel. in such a good location that we can come back and like chill for an hour or two before we have to go back out again so that's what we did we had one hour to chill i edited some stuff and now we are about to head to dinner at imbis and then we have a reservation at a speakeasy which i'm really excited about and i also want another churro i know i've had a bunch of churros well i guess just two over the past few days but that one last night was actually really good and i kind of want to go back i do kind of regret doing the speakeasy tonight because we have to get up super 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 early in the morning tomorrow because we were doing something really fun we're driving like four well we're not driving we booked an airbnb experience and i'll be sure to link it if it's good but um we are going to like these hot springs and it looks like insane i feel like we're gonna end the trip with a bang handshake speakeasy and I loved that bar we weren't there for too long we just got one cocktail but it was honestly such a good cocktail <laughs> I have had one other clarified cocktail I still don't really understand what it is and how it is clarified I really need to like look into it and like do a google search but I swear they are the best cocktails I've ever had um, in Austin. There's this place called The Guest House. I don't know, it was like something with tea and I think this one was also with tea so I, it could be also the tea but it was a really good one. I got the orange blossom and Ryan got like this, what was it, cacao negro negroni? Cacao negroni. And did you like it? Was it like better than a normal negroni? No, normal better. Okay, so he likes normal better. But my cocktail was pretty good. And I, the vibes were really cool in there. Obviously, it's like Gatsby themed. And I'm not even sure what area that was. I was trying to like zoom out on a map. Um, <coughs> but I had never heard of that area before. It seems like a lot of nightlife is around there. Even if I didn't have to wake up at like 3 a.m., I would not probably be going somewhere else after. I just like to come home and chill. But tomorrow, we are waking up really, really early. We actually have to be down in front of our hotel Airbnb 
at like 4 30 a.m and then we're gonna drive three to four hours away to these hot springs i will probably be butchering this name but it's called grutas Tol tolongos let me just look it up really quick it's called grutas tolentongos i think and it's basically like hot springs there's a cave there's these beautiful waterfalls like i'm so excited about this at first i was like is it worth the like eight hour drive in a day but i saw a bunch of videos saying like that was their highlight of the trip and i personally love to swim so i think i'm gonna love it but i'll definitely keep you guys updated and i am just gonna bring my phone instead of my camera because this thing is giant and i also don't want to like lose it or forget about it so this will be staying home thank god the iphone's camera is pretty good these days I'm gonna wash up all my makeup get on my jammies and then hopefully try to go to sleep soon we had a pretty rough start to this morning we woke up and got in the car around like 4 20 a.m they had to pick up like a bunch of people after us and then only then did they realize they had a flat tire so they found somewhere that was open 24 hours and it took a lot longer than expected i think it took like over an hour so we were supposed to be in the car max four hours on the way there but it ended up being like a whole six hour trip just being in the car so that was not fun but luckily i slept through a lot of it the most sucky part about the whole tire situation is that it put us back like around two hours and i booked this airbnb experience because it was taking us super early in the morning to beat the crowds but obviously we were there around the time that people usually go so it was pretty packed but i did still enjoy it so we first went to the pool these pools are man-made and it's right on the side of a mountain and it just has the most insane views but the water in them is from the hot springs so it's very warm and once we were done with the pools we walked over to get some food i honestly had rather skipped this just so we could go to the next part and it hopefully wouldn't have been crowded but we had to stop and get some food i also saw some food vendors on the way to this restaurant that looked even better than the restaurant so i would recommend maybe eating there over this restaurant because it was just very basic food but obviously we just needed something in our systems because we hadn't eaten all day i believe i got carne asada and it came with rice and beans we got back in the car and we drove a little bit further down into the park you could see a really beautiful view of the river and then we went over to the cave this water waterfall looked cgi even in real life like it was unreal it looked like a scene in i don't even know jurassic park i've honestly never watched that movie i probably should but it honestly looked so fake it was just that perfect our tour guide took us inside the cave and i had my waterproof phone case on this whole time so i highly recommend you bring water shoes and your waterproof phone case because you will be wanting to take pictures we went all the way inside the cave and it was honestly a little tough getting into here you had to like hold a rope and i only had one hand since I was like holding on to something else. It only took about a minute to get in there and like swim against the current and then you were totally fine in there. Once we were done with the cave, we went all the way to the river area. Since it was so packed, Ryan made a comment saying that it was just reminding him of a water park. And after that, I couldn't really get that out of my head. But even then, I still really enjoyed myself. I mean, I love to swim, so it's definitely something I was very excited about. We even saw this rainbow circling around the sun. It was so cool to see. The car picked us up right outside of the river, so we didn't have to walk back up, which was very nice. And they had bathrooms, they had showers too. I wish I brought shampoo and conditioner, but I just rinsed my hair out. We got back to the hotel, got ready, and then went to dinner at Senora Tanaka. This was another recommendation from my friend Taryn, and it did not disappoint. It was a sushi restaurant and we started with drinks. They made it look so beautiful and they even had fresh wasabi on their menu which in the states I do not see that very often so we obviously had to get a side of that. They had spicy tuna crispy rice and we also got the beef carpaccio with the brussels sprouts in the middle and our waiter recommended this and it was very very good. We got two hand rolls. I feel like I could have skipped this but the sushi rolls were where it was at. It was very good. I feel like they were all very filling. Nowadays we do not come to a sushi restaurant without getting nigiri it's officially our last day in mexico city we are actually gonna head to the airport around like 11 30. no i think it's 10 at 10 30. Mm -hmm. um yeah i know but i'm scared <coughs> it's an international flight on on the way here we were like this close to not being able to check our bags so we learned our lessons we need to get there a lot earlier but i wanted to give you guys a recap of yesterday i got kind of sunburnt mm -hmm. and yeah. i brought him sunscreen yeah. That's about it though, not too bad. So basically, like you guys saw, the car had a flat tire. But other than that, like I still am so happy we did it. Like it was a really cool experience. And I think my favorite part was definitely the cave. She had like a light and everything and 
I don't know, it was awesome. And the water was like warm everywhere you went, which that's another thing I wish I went early for because it would have been a lot cooler outside. And it was like, it was nice outside, but I wish there was like more of a breeze since we were in warmer water. And then after that, we got sushi and it was honestly really good. We were due for some sushi in our lives. You know, we need some hamburgers and pizza when we get to America. Maybe you do. <laughs> you don't? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I need, honestly. Um, I know I need my dog, though. <laughs> I'm excited to see my dog and so much house stuff. Yeah. And Ryan's mom is there house sitting and pet sitting Sophie, and she won't tell us yeah, she anything. She tried to surprise us, but I saw the ring doorbell. Yeah, I want to see everything that's happened to the house, but um, we are about to head out to Pandaria Rosetta. That is like the one last thing I have on my bucket list. As you can see, Ryan needs some coffee. I want a guava pastry roll. I think that's like the most iconic thing there, so let's go. We gotta do a little haul. <clears throat> what do you want first? Yours? Yes. Stunning. I got a guayaba. It's guava and cheese, so please take my lactate pill. What'd you get? Uh, chocolate. 